school again, third grade. Make sure you have your spelling book, okay? Spelling book, and we're gonna be opening up to page 25. Page 25, I'll walk you through this one a little bit to make sure you know how to do everything here. So our first section at the top of the page is called phonics. And it says, write the basic word that rhymes with each word below. So number 15, the word is gave. We're looking for one of our spelling words that rhymes with gave. So you actually wanna open it up flat so you can see your spelling list on page 24. And you're gonna look down the list and find the word that rhymes with gave. Spoke, mile, save, save, gave. Do they rhyme? They do. So I'm going to write save on line 15 over here for phonics. Save. Number 16, mice. Mice. Which of our words rhymes with mice? Spoke, mile, save, excuse, cone, invite, cube, price. Price, mice. Price rhymes. Price rhymes. Price will be number 16. Okay, I'll let you work on the rest of the ones yourself. You're going to find the words that rhyme. Let's go down to the next section so I know that you know how to do it. It's called word pairs. Vocabulary word pairs. Write the basic word that completes each pair of sentences. I'm in the red section now. Number 22. A foot is a short distance to walk. A blank is a long distance to walk. A foot, so that's just like 12 inches, is a short distance to walk. A blank is a long distance to walk. Look at your list. Which of those words would make sense to finish that sentence? How about mile? A mile is a long distance to walk, right? A mile. I bet some of you have walked a mile before though. You're really strong and really fast. I've seen some of you guys on the playground. Uh, number 23, you clap with your hands, you blank with your legs. What's something on your list that you could do with your legs? How about skate? You can skate with your legs, right? Let me see. I think that one makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. Skate. You can skate with your legs. And then down here at the bottom, I'll let you guys figure out number 24 on your own. For the challenge words, you're just going to, uh, you only have two, right? So the first one is an unexpected event, and then 26 is to make a choice. So surprise or decide, surprise and decide. Those are the two words you're gonna use, and I'll let you figure those ones out, okay? All right, great job, you guys. Go ahead and finish this page on your own.